So you've now come in and we've done an exam and we did the mini or quick ultrasound to give us an idea of how these veins are functioning. And we've hopefully taught you a lot about veins. So the next step is to further define the problem. As you know, again, if you go to the doctor, you have a problem, they're gonna do a diagnostic test and they wanna get a good quality test. Again, what we do is we take a quick look. So now you need the ultrasound map. I explained to you before why we call this a map, just because again, it's your unique system of roads. Now this is done with you standing. Now everything is done in our office. So you're not taking to a surgical center. Surgery, by the way, is a dirty word in this office because we don't do surgery. But everything, the ultrasound, mapping, the treatment, etc., is all done in one room. Now, for those of you who have had babies or your wife has had babies, you know what an ultrasound is like. And this is the same thing. You use the cold gel, although we try to warm it, and uh, basically the ultrasound tech takes a look at your veins. Now, she's not just interested in the anatomy. Where are the veins? You know, do you have branches, etc.? She wants to know the function which veins are working, which veins are not, because that is, those veins are the one that we're gonna treat. Now, you have the ultrasound, and hopefully the ultrasound tech has done what I love, the show and tell, where she will squeeze your calf or your lower thigh to watch the blood go up and down in your, um, in these veins. Now, again, as I said before, healthy veins, she sees blue. Okay, so she looks at her machine, she squeezes your leg, and the blood goes up, and she says, yay, that's a normal vein. Now, the truth of the matter is, and I know you don't want to hear this from me, but hopefully, well, you probably already heard this with the mini ultrasound, is the majority of the time, what you'll see on the monitor is blue with the blood trying to go up, but the vein is not doing its job, gravity's pulling, so you see a flash of red. So when you see that, that means the vein has not done its job carrying the blood back to the heart. Now, what she does, as I said, is she analyzes your unique situation, your unique problem. Now, this is small, so you may not be able to see this, but generally what she will do is she will draw for me, and red means bad, um, so she will draw your unique system. And so you may have branches here. You may have what I call twins. Some people do have um, what they call dual systems. Um, everything is unique. Now, this is the front of the leg. So if you turn your leg out, this is the left leg. The vein that we're talking about runs right along the inseam of your pants, okay? So that's this vein. This is actually the back of that same leg. Okay, this is not the other leg. So almost always, if the pipes are bad in the front of the house, they're probably bad in the back of the house. Um, now, not always, but generally this is what we see. Okay, so she shows me that, and almost always they're interconnections from the back to the front. Uh, veins don't just go north to south. If you look at your arms, you'll see that they meander around up and down and from front to back. So that's your left leg. Now she looks at the right leg. Now sometimes, if you're lucky, this will be normal, but almost always, pipes are bad on the left side, they're gonna be bad on the right. So she draws this one. Now let's say this one has all sorts of funny things, and this other vein up there that I won't explain right now um, is abnormal, and maybe this vein, which goes down from the inside of your um, we call it the inseam, but basically of your leg and goes all the way down the back, this may be abnormal. And you may have a branch here that goes here. So basically the point I'm trying to make is every leg is different. And depending on what we find, that determines the treatment. Now, before this, we want these veins nice and puffy. Um, there are certain things that will cause the blood vessels to swell so we can get a better look. There's certain things that will cause them to constrict or shrink, and then we can't get a good picture. So you will see here that I love visuals. 
which is part of the reason I'm doing this, is I've learned when we give people papers, things to read, they don't, it doesn't process. And I'm not trying to say that you, the patient, the person, are not intelligent. I'm the same way. I like things that are visual. So before you come in, I bet you've never had a doctor do this for you before. You're going to drink water. And if you want, have a juice box. You may have caffeine products. Um, you may have you know, a cup of coffee or a soda. But you want to minimize those because, as you may know, they're diuretics. They cause you t basically to flush out fluid. And so I don't want you to have caffeine withdrawal headache. But if you're normally used to two or three cups, try to have one. And that goes for the night before. Alcohol, you may know, is a diuretic. So be careful the night before. Okay. Now, we also want you to have a good meal. So this could be toast in the morning. This could be a turkey sandwich. This could be oatmeal, crackers. Um, just giving you some ideas here. I'm not being paid to represent high C or Quaker Oats. Um, but this is just to reinforce for you that this is important. Now, the other thing that we want you to do is to not exercise before you come. Remember before I told you that anything that constricts around the blood vessel and shoots the blood back to the heart and decompresses them, it's basically like you're circulating your own blood, that's going to empty these blood vessels. So if somebody has gone on a run and they come in, a lot of times their veins are teeny and we can't get a good picture. So don't exercise before you come, have a good meal and lots of fluids. Now why the meal? Well, you're standing when you get the ultrasound. Now, there are no needles, there's no treatment, it's no big deal, it may take 15 minutes, but a lot of people just get a little queasy. And what we find is if people have had a good meal, etc., they do better. Now, key point, if you are somebody who tends to faint easily, if you're somebody when you get your blood drawn, you don't do well, please let us know. Now again, this is not treatment at this point, but a lot of times it's just the suggestion. Some people, I can't even use the word vein. Even if I talk about pipes, they get upset. I had one person who um, I couldn't do the consult with her. I had to do it with her husband because it upset her. So if you're somebody like that, please let us know because there are things we can do. So you come in, you're all prepared. Every visit, bring nice shorts, um, nice loose shorts. You can go to Walmart or Kmart and just get really inexpensive shorts because many people don't have any, but it's important because we will be ultrasounding from the top of the vein all the way on down. Um, again, this, this procedure takes about 15 minutes. If it's complex, maybe 30. Um, and then when you're done, you're out of here. Again, no treatment that day. You can exercise afterwards. You're good to go. But that is a diagnostic test that lets us know what's going on in your legs.